Let's start um, with the diagram that they have in the text. This is exactly the diagram they have in the text when they're trying to describe the warrant, right? It's a pretty messy, complicated diagram, and it's not clear what it's supposed to mean, right? <laughs> okay? That's basically what I thought when I saw the diagram, right? Um, so we're going we're gonna to go through, just to give you a preview, we're going to go through this diagram, we're going to go through it piece by piece to kind of reconstruct um, the argument that they're making in the craft of research about what the warrant is. Unfortunately, though, um, I don't think they're right about this. I think they've got it all screwed up. So then we're going we're gonna to redo the diagram in a different way, the way I think it makes more sense. All right? And then we're going to go through um, a third uh, example of the diagram, but using uh, Hobbes as an example. Okay. So um, let's just get started with the piece by piece here. Okay? So the first piece uh, that we notice in this diagram um, is that this signs of crooked behavior shows up in two places, right? They, they have it down um, here under specific reason. So, um, right, so if, if you recall, you know, the, the basic um, argument here that's being made that they're, they're analyzing is that the FBI has been questioning the mayor's staff, therefore the mayor must be involved in something crooked, okay? So that's, um, the FBI has been questioning the mayor's staff, right? That's the, basically the, um, the evidence side, and then the mayor must be involved in something crooked. That's the, the claim side. That's the, the conclusion we're, we're drawing, right? Uh, but they note that um, this FBI has been questioning the mayor's staff is a sign of crooked behavior. So that's, that's down in the bottom. But then it, they also put it up at the top as the general circumstance um, that we're looking for um, in order to conclude the claim that we have, right? Um, so essentially what we've got is we've got the reason, that's the reason, right? Because that's the, um, you know, when we have, when we see crooked behavior, like when we see wetness, you know, we conclude that there's been rain. When we see signs of crooked behavior, we conclude something crooked happened, right? And that's, that's when, they, when they talk about the, the, general, the general circumstance and the general consequence. So when we see something, sign of crookedness, then crookedness happened, right? So that's their... Um, the, the way they link it up, right? And that's really, really the way they've set it up. It's the reason. And we had as the evidence, right, here in the specific case, the, uh, the FBI questioning the staff, right? Because that's the sign of the crooked behavior, right? So we've got, um, and if you recall, this is sort of similar to what we had yesterday, or to last time on Wednesday, uh, with, with Hobbes, um, in which we had the, the, the specific triangle, we had that building that, that had the shape of a triangle, and then we had on the top, we had the, the general triangle, any triangle, right? So here we've got also um, the specific situation, the FBI questioning the mayor's staff, and that being an example of this general situation of, of crooked behavior, or, or a sign of crooked behavior, okay? So uh, evidence and um, and essentially what we're, we're saying is that the evidence can be um, seen as an example of that reason, right? Okay. Then we have the claim, right? So we've got the claim is down here. That's the specific claim that we're talking about. Um, and the way, we're, the way that we're linking it up is through this warrant, right? And, they, and, and their argument is that the warrant um, is the thing that's, this, this general rule that we have, right, um, of signs of crooked behavior and, and linking it up to the general consequence. Um, so I think, I mean, according to their explanation of this, this is, that's their explanation, right, that, <coughs> that the warrant is this general rule that allows us to make this specific um, connection between um, specific reason and specific claim, right? So that's, that's how they've laid it out for us, okay? Um, but if you recall when we did the Hobbes, um, we had actually these arrows, and they have them too. You see the, the light arrows going up and down, right? So, so like we've got this arrow, so I mean, what's important here is that the warrant, it, it, it's not just doing that. It's not just linking the general circumstance to the general consequence, it's also linking that general consequence to the specific claim, right? So they had, the, they had these arrows kind of like in the background and you didn't quite understand what they were for and they didn't really explain them in the text, but clearly you have to make that 
that connection. Otherwise, you're, you, you know, you've got the thing up there and you've got the thing down there and there's no, there's no connection, right? So if, if you recall with the, with, the, with the triangle example we had, um, <coughs> we, made, we didn't make the connection directly. We had to go up, over, and down to make the connection, right? Because we're making the connection not by looking at every specific case, but rather we're relating the specific case to a general rule, right? And that's how we make the argument, right? And so we need that arrow down, but that's, a, that's an arrow that they don't really explain to us in the craft of research. In addition, we've got the arrow up, right, that, that links the evidence to the reason. They don't explain that for us either, right? Um, and so there's this problem. We don't quite understand, you know, where, you know, where that connection is coming from and how, how we make that connection um, for the argument, right? Um, what, I'm, what I'm arguing now, right, is that we need all three in order to make the warrant. The warrant has to make that whole, that whole arc from, from, from down in the specific reason down to the specific claim. And, and so the warrant can't be this general rule of when there are signs of crooked behavior, crooked behavior probably exists. That's a general rule, but it's not enough to link that general rule down to this specific relationship here, we need actually something else that's going to make that whole circuit. And I'm proposing as that warrant, um, the FBI only questions people when they have done something wrong. I mean, which we should say the people have done something wrong that they're questioning, right? Um, <coughs> and so that's what I'm suggesting is really the warrant here, right? Because that's the idea that's going to link it all the way around. Right? Um, is that there's this sign of crooked behavior, that there's this questioning. Um, the FBI questioning is a sign of crooked behavior, and that sign of crooked behavior also can be linked up to the, the people that they're, they're questioning. Right? Okay, so that there's a, there's a kind of a circuit there. Right? Um, in order to get to this explanation of the warrant, and I think it's necessary because otherwise you'd, you've got these, the, the, the general rule up here, the specific, um, you know, uh, statement you're making down here, they're kind of floating and they're not, there's no necessary relationship between the two, right? Um, when the craft of research fails to explain this process, then I think there's a, there's a kind of missing, there's a missing piece in the way that the, the warrant is being understood, right?